Okay, mga kawawmat, in this video, we will discuss finding the equations of vertical and horizontal lines. So, in this video, how are we going to find the equation of a line given the graph of vertical and horizontal line? So, our objective is we will find the equation of vertical and horizontal line. So, I hope you have watched the previous video in finding the equation of a line. So, ito po yung mga Ibang uh, form dito, yung slope-intercept form, point-slope form, two-point form, and intercept form ay na-discuss na po natin sa ating mga previous video. That's why in this video, we will focus on the vertical line and horizontal line. So, sana napanood nyo po yung apat bago po tayo mag-proceed dito para magkaroon po tayo ng idea on finding the equation of a line. Okay, so let's start. Uh, how are we going to find the equation of a vertical line? So, given the graph, kapag binigyan ka ng graph, first thing to do is you have to describe, okay, what is the graph of the line? Okay, so as you can see, the graph of the line is a vertical line. Okay, so the graph of a line is a vertical line. So, now, if the graph of the line is a vertical line, obviously, it crosses or it touches the x-axis. So, as you can see, since vertical line ang graph natin, nag-cross siya o nag-touch siya doon sa ating x-axis. Okay? So, let us get the point of this graph. So, therefore, this is 4, 0. Okay? Kung saan yung intersection niya, kung saan siya nag-touch. So, that is 4, 0. Now, if your graph is a vertical line and it crosses your x-axis. So, kapag x-axis siya na-cross, therefore, the equation of the line is your x-intercept. And that is x is equal to 4. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Next, another example. So, I have here a graph. So, how will you describe the graph? This is a vertical line. Okay. Now, since this is a graph of, uh, since this is a vertical line, therefore, it crosses or it touches your x-axis. So, saan siya nag-touch? Doon po sa point ni negative 2, 0. So, since the graph is a vertical line and it crosses your x-axis, so therefore, the equation of the line is your x-intercept. And that is, x is equal to negative 2. Ganun lang po. Kapag nag-touch siya sa ating x-axis at ang graph ay vertical line, your x, ay the equation of the line is your x-intercept. Okay? Now, let's have the horizontal line. So, if the graph is a horizontal line. So, horizontal line, yung pahiga, no? So, if the graph is a horizontal line, therefore, obviously, it crosses your y-axis. Okay? So, if the graph is a horizontal line and the graph crosses your y-axis, therefore, let us get the point. This is 0, 6. Okay? So, kapag ganito na ang graph mo ay horizontal at nag-touch siya sa iyong y-axis, therefore, the equation of the line is your y-intercept naman. Okay? So, the, the equation is y is equal to 6. So, kanina sa previous slides natin, kapag nag-touch siya sa, uh, sa x-axis at ang graph niya ay vertical, the equation of the line is your x-intercept, yung nandito. Okay, but this time, since the graph is a horizontal line and it crosses your y-axis, therefore, the graph is your y-intercept and that is y is equal to 6. Okay, next. So, we have, okay, another horizontal line. So, therefore, uh, the graph of the line is a horizontal line, so it crosses your y-axis. Nag-cross siya sa y-axis mo. By the way, this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. So, it crosses your y-axis. So, therefore, let us get the point. That is 0, negative 3. Okay. So, since this is 0, negative 3, so, therefore, the equation of the line is your y-intercept. And that is 
y is equal to negative 3. Halimbawa, nandito yung point mo. Ito yung graph ng line, tas nandito si point. Okay, so this is, what ordered pair is this? Negative 4, negative 3. Ganun pa din. Y-intercept pa rin ang kukunin, negative 3. Yun pa rin naman ang sagot. So, halimbawa, nandito yung point mo. Kuha ka lang kahit anong point dyan sa horizontal line mo. So, halimbawa, ito yung point. So, this is what ordered pair? 6, negative 3, right? So, kunin mo yung y-intercept, negative 3 pa rin. Okay? So, basta kapag it touches your y-axis, then the equation of the line is your y-intercept. Dito tayo titingin sa pangalawa, yung ordinate mo. Next. So, what if the given is this? Find the equation of the line passing through negative 5, negative 1 with undefined slope. So, ang una natin gagawin is to plot the point. So, what is the point? Negative 5, negative 1. So, here it is. So, ito yung negative 5 mo, negative 1. So, this is your point. Now, ang question natin dito is how are you going to graph this point? Are we going to graph this vertically or horizontally? Okay? So, tingin ka dun sa given. Balik ka. Ang sabi, passing through negative 5, negative 1 with undefined slope. So, ang sabi, undefined daw yung slope. Okay? Kung natatandaan nyo yung discussion natin doon sa describing the graph given the slope, pwede nyo balikan yung video tutorial natin doon, na kapag ang slope ay undefined, the graph must be a vertical line. If your slope is zero, the graph is a horizontal line. Okay? Pwede nyo pong balikan yung video tutorial natin about describing. So, if the graph is undefined, I, if, I mean, if the slope is undefined, then the graph is a vertical line. Okay? So, dito nyo siya malalaman. Kapag ang slope mo naman ay zero, then the graph is a horizontal line. Okay, so we now have the graph of the line. So, ang aalamin natin dito is the equation. So, kung na-recall nyo yung mga previous slide natin, di ba kapag vertical line, so it crosses your uh, x-axis. So, therefore, ayan, it crosses your x-axis. So, therefore, ang kukunin natin is your x-intercept. So, therefore, the equation of the line is x is equal to negative 5. So, sabi ko nga, hindi laging dito kahit anong point dyan. So, kagaya nito, ito yung point niya, wala naman siya dito, ba? Basta nag-touch yung graph ng line mo sa x-axis, ibig sabihin, all the points here. Lahat ng points mo dito, ang equation niyan ay x is equal to negative 5. So, halimbawa, ito yung um, point mo. Kahit na nandyan ang point mo, ganun pa din. The equation is x is equal to negative 5. Kasi it touches the x-axis, so therefore ito siya. Okay, negative 5. Next. So, find the equation of the line passing through negative 2, 6 with a slope of 0. So, here's your uh, Cartesian plane. So, first thing to do is to plot the point we have negative 2, 6. So, ito yung negative 2, 6 natin. So, here's the point. Now, our slope is 0. So, sabi ko nga, uh, kapag ang slope natin ay 0, the graph is a horizontal line. Okay. So, since the graph is a horizontal line, obviously, it touches your y-axis. So, it touches your y-axis or it crosses your y-axis. So, therefore, ang kukunin natin ay yung y-intercept. Ito po. Okay, so the equation of the line is y is equal to 6. Okay, let's uh, try, test yourself. Okay, so find the equation of the line given the graph. Okay, so I have here a vertical line. So it crosses your y-axis. So what is the answer? Okay, y I, x is equal to negative 3 kasi ito siya nakatapos. Tapat siya, it crosses negative 3. Next. Okay, this is a, a horizontal line and it crosses your y-axis. So, therefore, the equation must be your y-intercept. So, y is equal to 2. Next. So, ayan, may point tayo. Okay, so, the equation is y is equal to 4. So, actually, kahit sa ang point dyan, no, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, uh, kahit saan pa ang point mo dyan, but ang importante dyan is if it crosses your y-axis, then ang kukunin natin is yung y-intercept. 
Okay, so y is equal to 4. Next. So it crosses your x-axis. So the equation of the line is x is equal to 7. Okay, so I hope you got perfect. Congratulations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.